Hey guys, my name is Jamie. I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to improve the looks of your BMW by replacing the tired, worn out hood emblem with a brand new one. There's a few different methods. I'm going to go over those with you. Let's get started. There is a wrong way to do it, so let's show you how not to do it. So I've just got your basic screwdriver here, flat head. You wanna make sure it has a nice sharp little edge. And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it right under the, the edge here like this, okay? And then you wanna get right under here. And it just, it really just pops up. It's really easy. Just kind of shove it under there like that. Oh, there we go. It's that easy. All right, I don't know who that guy is, but I would not listen to him. <laughs> Man, did I get a lot of slack for that one. Okay, I'm gonna show you that right way how to replace the hood emblem. Before we replace the hood emblem, it's a good idea to understand what we're working with. So this is an E92. I've got part numbers of the emblem and the retainers in the description if you guys wanted to check those out. Now on the back side of this, it has two protruding uh, pins, I guess you wanna call them. They're plastic pins and they fit in here right like that. So the goal is to get it popped up from there. We have to be careful if we pry this emblem up we can scratch the paint over here. The whole goal here is not to scratch the paint. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that I've done it. Um, I've taped around here and I've used a plastic tool like this to get under it. I've used a pick or even a pocket screwdriver. You have to be very careful. You don't wanna pry against the paint. So I usually will put this under here and kind of pry like that. You just gotta be really careful. There's another method that I like to use is to use a microfiber towel. I usually fold it a couple times and I'll get under here and I'll pry up just a little bit. I'll come over here, pry up a little bit and just keep working back and forth until you can get it up and out. The method I like to use is this strap right here. These straps are usually the ones that come, you know, around big packages, things like that. Uh, this works really well. It's sturdy enough to get it under the emblem. We're gonna work from either underneath or up top. We're gonna get right in between both of those pins and we're going to work its way out of the car hey guys if this is really helpful for you please remember to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe thanks very much have a great day so i'm just going to take some masking tape here get it right in the corner or right in the edge of the emblem right onto the paint we're going to do the same thing on the top side so the 12 o'clock and the six o'clock position and really we're just doing that to protect the paint Okay, we're gonna use the strap. I'm gonna to try to feed it from underneath. Sometimes these can be stubborn, <laughs> like this one. Uh, it's kind of not wanting to get in there, so let's try it from up top. There we go, that's a little bit, bit better. Okay, we want it to come out from the other side. Sometimes you gotta work it a little bit. Come on, oh, I see it peeking through. It wants to, it wants to come out. There we go, okay. Okay, so now that we have it on both sides, see when I pull this strap, I wanna make sure it's on the, on the uh, masking tape, not on the paint of the car. Basically, I'm just gonna keep working it until, it's, until it comes out. Come on. Okay, it's being a little stubborn, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting some movement on it. You guys can probably see that in the camera. So I'm gonna get it up on one side. I'm gonna get my pry tool get under it just to kind of give it a little bit of help. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, there are those pins. Sometimes these pins will break off and you have to dig them out of here. The next step is to remove these grommets or as BMW calls them, retainers. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. We don't need this anymore. 
Okay, there's a couple different ways to get these out of here. You can use a pick, kind of stab the edge of it going inwards and pulling it straight out. Again, we don't want to scratch the paint. You can use needle nose pliers. I've used both. I usually start with the needle nose pliers and if that works well, then that's just what I go with. You're probably thinking, do you need to replace these retainers? And honestly, do you need to? No, you can inspect them. If they look good, you can reuse them. I like to replace them because I want the new emblem to fit nice and snug and these might be a little wore out. And these retainers, I think they're only, you know, 60 cents a piece. They're very cheap. Back in here. All right, it's starting to lift out. It's kind of starting to break apart from me. There we go, and it's out. I'm gonna take the time to clean all the dirt around here. I can use a glass cleaner. You can use any kind of cleaner. If you got some uh, denatured alcohol, you could do that as well, or whichever cleaning products you have that's obviously safe for the paint of the vehicle. All right, we got most of that loose dirt out of there. Going back together is super easy. You're just gonna take these retainers. You know, one side has got like a, uh, a lip on it. Can you see that? So it goes in with that part up top. You just push it in, that's it. And then obviously you wanna make sure you don't put it in upside down. <laughs> Get your pins lined up. Push it straight down. Just like that, you're all done.